Yo, what is up, everybody? My name is Rosic, and like usual, I post every two or three days. And what I've been noticing on my videos is you guys are watching the video today, which I'm recording, and I noticed I've been getting some more views today because you guys expected me to post a video yesterday because I'm going to post this tonight or whenever I do. I, I don't know. But anyways, um, as I'm bringing you guys today, I am bringing you guys my first GFX art on this channel, and... Why I'm doing this is because, like I said when I, on my first video ever, I do GFX arts. And I just wanted all my subscribers and everyone who watched my videos to know that I am a GFX artist, not just a gameplay commentator. And I don't, I don't do, do just gameplays and stuff like that. I, I also do some GFX. I'm really good at it. And um, why I'm doing a, part, a partnered background is actually because, and this is one of my subscribers, I got accepted accepted into Killstreak Gaming Network. If you guys didn't know that, well, most of you guys didn't know that, but anyways, they are in my sub box on my channel. You can go check them out. But anyways, I got accepted KSG and I applied for a KSG and all you need is 100 views, more than 100 views per video. Um, If you're lying about it, they'll check Social Blade and if you're lying about it, they'll be really mad. But I wasn't lying about it. Um, There was some mixed confusion confusion um when i was trying to apply so i, I applied again and it, i finally got accepted but um if you guys notice my videos um how like the music on the uh outro and stuff are gone um i didn't ex get accepted the first time because i didn't ha i didn't have music that belonged to me so i had to cut those out and s um i was first gonna delete them um but then something popped in my head and said hey why, why don't I just cut them out? I mean, there's not, I don't want to lose all my views that you guys uh, gave me. So, I just cut them out. And I thought that would be a better way. And I know that's a better way than deleting all your videos that you've took your time and effort out to out of. Uh, and, yeah, that's basically it. But, um, if you guys want a GFX from me, um, all GFX is free. I mean, it'll always be free. Um, I don't want to pay because I know how hard GFX is for you guys. And, um, I, I actually been through some stages of, um, sorry there. I've, I, I went through a stage where I could not find GFX artists. Um, my, my channel background was really bad. I couldn't find out what kind of logo be fit best for my channel. And that was actually on Marking Edge Shot. So, I got really tired of it and I just decided... To try to make my own GFX, like art background stuff like that. I already got two customers. Um, they're my friends, and this other guy, uh, he just contacted me and say, "Hey, I know you do GFX artists. Could you do this for free?" I'm like, "Sure, man. I will always do um, GFX artists and like GFX arts for everything for everybody." And I have no problem with that no problem at all because, um, I, like I said, it's really hard to find. A, a GFX artist that will pay for free. Um, if you find a GFX artist, they're usually um, having you to pay because you know they're probably really good at it, and they don't. They feel like since they're really good at it, they um, should get paid for it. I don't. I don't think that that for. I don't think I should do that at all because um, you know everyone wants to get big on YouTube, and one of the ways to get big on YouTube is having a good. Uh, like view of for people ha have a good view of your channel and that includes a YouTube photo and a YouTube background and uh, for the new YouTube layout the YouTube banner and all that stuff but so I'm I'm basically just doing this video for, to, for you guys to show you how good I am with GFX and how good I am with doing backgrounds and especially partner backgrounds I love doing partner backgrounds and that's why I'm doing uh, a partner background today because I love doing it I would do a regular background but I like I don't feel like it since I'm my banner fixing to come up I really shouldn't and um, if, uh, fixing it about things that are coming up 
my new capture card is almost here and if you guys didn't know what it was it was the aver media game capture hd is where all you do is plug it into your p to uh to your ps3 xbox and your monitor or tv and you don't even have to use a computer at all all you need is a thumbstick a hard drive or anything else that restores that um you can put memory into um you just use that you can just plug it in there and it automatically records you have a remote you have a battery you have a uh a battery onto it with a plug-in so that is very good i uh like when i posted a video it always took up like 18 gigabytes of my computer and i got crazy over it and that's why i really didn't post that much because i always i always didn't want to lose all my gigabytes because if i if i had more gigabytes then my computer would run faster and i always want my computer to run faster so that's why i just didn't post that much and as i noticed um for dx tori if you guys don't know what that is um into screen capture i was recording minecraft with it and i deleted it because it took up so much gigabytes and i got crazy so i just switched to fraps you know what i mean fraps is really good um it doesn't take up that much gigabytes it only take like two to three gig two to five gigabytes i would say of memory and it's really good it's hd quality and uh, I can work with it and the thing but the thing I used to do in my videos on my Call of Duty videos is I would create the video delete uh, upload it to YouTube once it's done uploading um, make the thumbnail delete the video so I can have all of my gigabytes uh, of memory back on but as I noticed that I was um, once I deleted the videos they, they I wasn't losing gigabytes I, I wasn't gaining gigabyte space and I just, I'm like, I'm searching on YouTube, I'm like, what's going on? And then I found out that my recycle bin, I had to empty my recycle bin. But then I empty my recycle bin, but I then I realized that I was not getting all the gigabytes that I had before I made that video. So I had to search on YouTube, problems of gigabyte space and stuff like that. Something like that, I don't know. But, so I found out that I need a, um... Uh, a hard drive cleaner or something like that um it's just um like program that you can um an antivirus program as i would say but so i got that and now i'm running perfectly i don't i used if you guys didn't know that i used to record with the dazzle dvc 100 you're probably thinking you record with dazzle dvc 100 that's impossible your your videos are hd quality you got partnered from Black Ops 2, and you were recording with a Dazzle DVC 100. The point is, like I said on in my first video, and in fully introducing myself, I recorded with a Dazzle DVC 100. And I used these specific settings that will really just works on the Dazzle DVC 100, and even the um, some other old capture cards that aren't really HD at all. And uh, I was really thinking about just making a video um, of how, like, showing you guys how to get Dazzle DVC 100 quality. And, uh, but I gotta warn you that it does take up a lot of gigabytes. So, thanks for watching, guys. Always remember to comment and subscribe. And, uh, if this video does get posted to another GFX, um, channel, uh, I, I submitted one to a GFX, like, community channel with music on it. So, uh, the reason why I didn't put music on this is because I am not sure the rules of the KSGN uh, music. I know I'm the only reason the for a music to be on my channel for a full video, I have to um, like basically create it myself. But um, yeah, and I haven't created one yet, so I just added some video, put it on unlisted, and um, I submitted it to. The GFX Arts Community Channel. So that's basically it, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, always subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.